there's many things to think of, think about when it comes to the impacts of EMFs that might they might have on on your person. The first one is the immediate impact when you're very close to a source. So the good news, uh, if I have my phone here on the table, two, three feet from my person, nothing much is happening as far as cancer risk uh, and very long-term, long, very dangerous long-term effects. We're talking about uh, the, the heavy users who use a phone on the ear or a Bluetooth headset. So unfortunately, yes, these Bluetooth things, I, can, I cannot recommend them because of the proximity to the brain and the long-term impacts of using them over years, usually. It's not something where you're going to uh, be, uh, be affected in five minutes kind of thing or, or have an acute effect. If you do, you might be one of the individuals that in some sense is lucky to be electro hypersensitive because you have a strong sense that you shouldn't have this exposure. Some people, for example, get a near, nearly instantaneous headache or migraine when they talk on the phone. Well, trust me, they don't talk on the phone anymore and now they use safer ways. For example, a wired headset or they use distance and they use a speaker phone and they can still use a phone. In certain situations, they have to use a wired computer and not even even use a cell phone inside their home because they're too sensitive to these exposures. So, so that's, that's a reality that uh, the symptoms will vary from one person to another in, in a great amount. And I think the, the best analogy to give uh, people listening to this is gluten. And a lot of people are aware that certain allergens in food can impact uh, me a, a different way than my neighbor, for example. So I might be gluten intolerant. So I have a little bit of bread and uh, I'm okay, but I get joint discomfort and I'm kind of aware that I shouldn't do it more than once a month. But maybe my neighbor is celiac and celiac is having an autoimmune attack after gluten. So he might eat a, a breadcrumb and be nearly bedridden, or some people have a hard time walking. They would have symptoms nearly like uh, multiple sclerosis after having gluten. So my neighbor shouldn't use a phone at all. Maybe I can use it a little bit, and maybe my second neighbor is perfectly fine. So that's a problem, right? Just like gluten is that a lot of people are in disbelief. If I have strong effects from Wi-Fi, my neighbor doesn't, he might think I'm a little bit uh, woo-woo about it and I'm a little bit overreacting, especially since everyone tells us it's safe. <laughs>